Today we are going to talk about different types of taxes. Imagine you are the manager of a company, and you wonder which types of taxes you must pay, both as an individual and as a manager on behalf of the company. In general, there are four different criteria to classify taxes, the mode of imposition, the economic function, legal criteria, and the taxable base. The most common classification relies on the mode of imposition. Accordingly, you can distinguish between direct and indirect taxes. Let's first have a look at direct taxes. Direct taxes are intended to be borne by the legal or natural person on whom they are levied. Typically, direct taxes are imposed on personal or corporate income, capital or wealth, or occasional benefits such as from a gift or inheritance. Indirect taxes, on the other hand, are intended to be passed on by the payer to the consumer of a good or service. Examples are the value-added tax or the real estate transfer tax. Indirect taxes are generally levied upon consumption, essentially making it more expensive. Both direct and indirect taxes are important to the government as they account for a major part of its revenue. In many countries, the personal income tax, a direct tax, and the value-added tax, an indirect tax, constitute the primary sources of tax revenue. Another possibility to classify taxes is by their economic function. Accordingly, taxes can be grouped by consumption, labor, or capital. Consumption taxes are the value-added tax and excise duties such as taxes on alcohol, tobacco, or fuel. Taxes on labor mainly comprise personal income taxes on employment income, including compulsory contributions such as social security contributions. Taxes on capital include corporate income taxes and various taxes paid by companies and natural persons in connection with their investment and property owned. Examples are taxes on financial and capital transactions, capital income, land and buildings, and capital transfers, such as inheritance or gifts. The legal classification of taxes divides taxes into personal and non-personal taxes, transaction taxes, and consumption taxes. When classifying taxes by the tax base, a distinction is made between taxes on profit or income, taxes on the transfer of wealth, taxes on capital, and transaction and consumption taxes. To summarize, the most important classification of taxes relies on the mode of imposition and distinguishes between direct and indirect taxes. Direct taxes are paid directly by the legal or natural person they are levied upon. Contrarily, indirect taxes are passed on from the payer to the end consumer, making consumption more expensive. Other criteria to classify taxes are economic functions, legal criteria, and the tax base. <laughs>